What up, kittens? It's your girl, Retta Van. Well, as you can see, I done took her down to the scalp, okay? Because, honey, that scalp was screaming for a little breath of fresh air. Plus, I ain't new to a BC, honey. If you know me, those that really know me know that I am the queen of color and I'm the queen of hairstyles, okay? So, doing a BC ain't nothing to me, honey. I've done a BC just for the fashion alone. I wanted to okay. entitle this vid, uh, Light versus Dog, because... I came across a YouTube video that apparently own channel has a show called Blackboard Wars. Now, um, in this particular clip, there was a dark skinned girl named Malia, Amanda, whatever her name was. She was a beautiful dark skinned girl, but you can tell she had underlying issues with her skin tone because she had um the clip was based around her getting into it with some fellow classmates that got on her about her skin tone or called her ugly because she was dark or something like that now what i will say from my personal point of view um i just think it's just a, a case of kids just teasing each other you know how it was when you was in high school everybody got teased by some i don't give a damn how popular you thought you were you know what i'm saying or your friends made you feel honey we all it was it's something about yourself you didn't like you know because you're young and you you lost at that age you know this girl was all of maybe 15 16 nobody is really sure of themselves at 15 16 you know nobody is really that confident and for the ones that the most popular people that you made popular in high school trust and believe they probably had the most insecurities so you know, that, that right there is just a bunch of bullshit. I, myself, am like maybe one of maybe five light-skinned people in my uh, family. So, sorry if I disappoint. My last name ain't DeBarge, okay? So, yeah, I just have never been stuck on the whole light-skinned, dark-skinned thing because, truth be told, my family comes in a, a wide array of beautiful, popping-ass brown melanin, okay? My granddaddy, like from Median, and I'm talking to Slave Dark, okay? And my granddaddy happened to be the one that was the Slave Dark. And I loved every damn inch of his dark skin self okay like he is just he was my everything and anybody who has been labeled a granddaddy's baby would know that you know you're not looking at skin tone or whatever you looking straight to the person's heart as i grew up, gotten older dark skin was for on a man was my preference you know no i did not marry that however it became more of a preference because that was what i was just used to seeing that's what i grew up around so naturally it was what i was attracted to i've come across friends that have been much darker that have had their own issues you know um and not to say my friends in particular you know are just walking around like oh i'm so ugly because i'm this skin tone no but we've all had insecurities about something like shit even as confident as i'd like to think that i am most days you know or most people think that i am it's some insecurities about me you know what i'm saying that i have about myself and it is what it is it's just life you know whatever being light skin has not always worked in my favor. Just as many damn uh, no's you didn't got on a, a job interview, I've gotten just as many, if not more. So definitely ain't no light skin privilege, uh, at least attached to me, it ain't. Um, I've always taken people for who they are. You know, I've never looked down on somebody. I never had my ass on my shoulders, my nose up in the air, thinking it was all about me and that I was just too cute or I couldn't be bothered because I was light skinned. Because that right there is a bunch of bullshit. And coming out of a light skinned mouth, everything that's light skinned is not cute, okay? Because you can be drop dead gorgeous light skinned and have a fucked up attitude and that makes you ugly, you know? And that goes for dark skin too. I just, I hate that we live in such a society that beauty is based off of a level of, of, of light. And I mean, it just, it is, you know, it's unfortunate because I mean, clearly all of my kids, except my daughter, well, the middle kid, because my middle kid, he's not biologically mine, but of course by default, he's a little lighter because his mom was light and my husband's a little lighter. Um, my oldest child is dark skinned. Most of that came from over the years playing in the sun and stuff, but he was destined to be darker than me anyway because his father is brown skinned. Um, my daughter don't know if she's going to get any darker than what she is, but me and her are pretty much the same skin tone, you know, and it just, it is what it is. This is, if believe it or not, the darkest, put the air quotes on there, that I've been my whole life. Um, I've been made to feel a way about myself, I guess, about my skin tone because people have always slapped the negative connotation that comes with being light skin of, oh, she um, she thinks she's cute because she's light skin or whatever. And let me tell you something. You're damn right I think I'm cute. 
But that's just the personal feelings that I have about myself. That does not mean that I go around just thinking I'm better than anybody or just thinking that I'm the cutest thing because just as many times as I've been told I'm cute, I have definitely been told that I am ugly. And guess what? It ain't phased me one way or another because at the end of the day, I know who I am. And especially at the age that I am now and the skin that I'm in, honey, I'm comfortable with it all. It's just, it is what it is. For those of you that do feel a way about yourself, don't let nobody else's perception of beauty because that's why it's called a a preference. That's why they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder because I'm one person that can find beauty in anything. You could be black as a lump of coal or you could be light as the damn uh, paint on the wall, child. I will find beauty in it, in that, in the, in it, and in you, okay? Um, I never let nobody determine my self-worth, especially based off of a damn skin tone. Because, again, I don't have any more privilege than you do tied to this light skin. Now, I know a lot of y'all are going to say or think differently, especially the ones that are darker skin. But I have seen some of the most beautiful dark-skinned people. You understand what I'm saying? I've seen the most confident dark-skinned people or whatever. You have the Naomi Campbells of the world, the Viola Davises of the world. Who else? You got Gabrielle Unions of the world. I mean, these are some popping ass black women, dark brown women at that. Um, Just as well as you have everybody, of course, says Beyonce and stuff. But you have the Sanaa Lathans of the world. You have the Regina Halls of the world. Who else you got? You got Kelly Rowlands of the world. You know, you got so many. Lala, you know, Sierra. You have so many beautiful arrays of black. We're talking pre-1964 days. You know what I'm saying? That we're still carrying this bullshit into and all the way to 2017 like get over it like so what somebody said you were ugly so what somebody hit you with that see the thing is people can hit me with that oh she thinks she's cute all day long but i don't let other people's opinion define me mold me shake me into the person that i am because i define myself and it is what it is you know some people have to get over you just guess what how that mean goes uh don't trip everybody's ugly to somebody you know nobody's gonna find me the most attractive person you know what i'm saying no despite how i feel about myself but that is okay and you're gonna have to be okay with that okay um i came across a girl that was real real dark skin we worked at ross distribution center and she got offended she already had underlying issues um and was so self-conscious about her skin tone or whatever um, like she even was ignorant to uh, ignorant enough to believe that or came up with the conclusion in her mind that I came from a mixed race family or nothing against mixed races because I have those in my family too. But I'm just saying she thought that I was mixed just based off of me being light skin alone. And I was like, how ignorant is that shit? Like, uh, so my last name looks like it's DeBarge? No, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? My granddad is just as black as you are. And I love every bit of him. So, I mean, what in the hell would make you even think that? You know, she was just, oh, I just thought that maybe, no, honey, well, that's what you get for thinking, and thank God you don't get paid for your thoughts, okay? Like I told her, you know, she ended up having, I ain't even gonna say an altercation, but a falling out with a co-worker of ours who happens to be white over, basically, long story short, over tattoos, and the girl made a comment of saying, um, how do you know that the tattoo color, you know, do, are you sure it's gonna show up on your skin? Now, I had... I just been some random person, you know what I'm saying? And not really knowing this girl beforehand because we worked at a job before me and the white girl prior to Ross. Um, I would have thought her to be prejudiced and racist too, but because my mind doesn't take me that far and I can logically see things from different angles. Um, I knew that the girl wasn't coming from that, that mind frame. And sometimes people, um, say things and they don't, they say it ignorantly because they are not aware of how it offends other people. Or how they could come off. And basically, I just got them two together and they basically realized it was a a misunderstanding because I had to let the girl know she needs to be a little more mindful of what she says to people. Um, And then to the black girl, I had to basically let her know, you can't impose your um, suppressed emotions over your own skin tone onto other people and be upset because they don't want to apologize for your level of dark or for you feeling a way about yourself. You know, you can't do that. You know, you can't put that burden or that responsibility on somebody else, whether they're white, whether it's another black person, no matter who it is. Um, Again, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I am a person that can definitely see beauty in pretty much anything in anybody. Yes, I am that person. Um, I just want people to love themselves, you know, because at the end of the day, we all don't look alike. We all come in different arrays. We're all beautiful. We all have our own, 
uniqueness about us, you know, and you don't want to be uh, looking like anybody else. You know, you don't want to be out here just being a clone. You know, you got that's why you have so many people out here that um, go out and get plastic surgery and all these different things. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to enhance myself. I'm not going to take away. I'm not going to add to just to fit the left that my somebody else's perception of beauty. Like it's just not going to happen because if God didn't give it to me, it wasn't meant for me to have, you know. And at the end of the day, like I said, when I damn um, was so self-conscious about my lips and all this other stuff, honey, they going to Dr. Miami, to the DR, to the uh, all these black market doctors, you know what I'm saying, to get what I have naturally. And honey, these lips are priceless, okay? So while they paying $10,000 for what I have naturally, the little Cali Jenners of the world, honey, I, I am all too happy and all too proud to have... Um, what I've been given naturally. You know, you have to be happy with that. You have to be okay with, guess what? I came out on the light setting of out of the toaster of one and the oven of bro, of, of warm. And other people came out on broil or the setting of five. I'm never going to apologize for being who I am and for being the skin tone that I am because that is utterly ridiculous. Um, but I also will never treat a person differently because of their skin tone because that is ridiculous too. We're all beautiful. We're all made in his likeness. We're all made how we're supposed to look. And you have to be okay with that. Not knocking somebody who goes to get surgery. Now, if that's your judge, that's your judge. You know, no judgment. Everybody's perception of beauty is different, you know. Um, it's unfortunate we have to even take it that far that we have to even think that negatively. Um, everything again, that is light is not the cutest thing in the world. Everything that is dark is not the ugliest. So take pride in yourself, take pride in your melanin, take pride in just being your own you, you know, be you at the end of the day. It's not going to make you darker. It's not going to make you lighter. You just have to be yourself and be okay in the skin that you're in. Um, everybody has not so sure days. Everybody has insecurities. Anybody that tells you that they don't, they lying like hell. You know, I'm not the most insecure person, but I do have insecurities, but it's up to me to work on that and not to impose my internal feelings about myself onto somebody else because I'm feeling away. You feel me? And I hope that somebody gains something from this video. Um, I try to condense it down because I record everything from my phone, still trying to figure out how I can get it through my computer and, you know, record and stuff like that. So bear with me because this is only maybe what my sixth, seventh video, something like that, fifth. But however it goes, I thank y'all for hanging there, you know, hanging on in there with you, girl. Those that have viewed this video or whatever, you know, like I said, spread the word and um, let's drop some some suggestions out there. So, all right, y'all. I will holler at y'all. Peace.